so Jackie, my mother, um, she's 53 years of age, sorry, 52 years of age at the moment, and she is in full-time nursing home care with severe um, early onset Alzheimer's disease. How, how I, I feel kind of bad talking about it in front no, of Ellen. No, it's but... okay because it's a different, it's a different story actually yeah. and it's case by case. Yes, as absolutely. You know. absolutely. Uh, how old was, was your mum when she was first diagnosed? Um, well, she was originally diagnosed with what was called a mild, mild cognitive disorder at the age of 42. Um, so they knew that there was something wrong. There was a bit of a learning difficulty, they thought, there, and she couldn't absorb new information, is what they thought. Um, she kept this very quiet. I, myself, didn't know about it, because at the time I was quite young myself, and um, I had moved to the UK. So she kept everything very, very sheltered. She, she was a very strong, independent businesswoman. She's had businesses her whole life. She ran a very successful shop in Monkstown for 18 years, which a lot of people would know her for, you yeah. know. And, um, but she, again, the words started escaping her. The, one of the main things with her was she couldn't control her finances or anything anymore. She just couldn't, couldn't control it at all. She couldn't do it whatsoever. So in turn, it led into a serious amount of financial trouble and a serious amount of stress for her and as well. And this brought you back from the UK then yes, to, to yes. be the carer? Yeah, absolutely. Did, do, you get, do you feel that you got enough support down from state-wise down through the years? Um, initially, no. Because, again, as Helen said, for someone so young, people almost laugh at you when you say there's something wrong. They're like, ah, sure, that's an old person's disease. Nobody young gets that. Sure. Which it's, it's getting more and more common now in younger people that this is happening. Um, so later on, I was just very lucky to, that a friend of mine worked in that industry yes. and put me in touch with people in the HSC, one woman in particular, Eilish Hessian, who was like my guardian angel. Because even I, when I came back, I was an, I'm an only child, so it was just me and her. Yes. And I withdrew from society. I hid away as well. So it affects so the family and everyone else. Absolutely, well. yeah. absolutely. And to watch Jackie, who was so powerful and so elegant and so amazing, disintegrate in front of my face was very, very hard. But the one thing I have to say, Ryan, is even now, she's, as I said, she's 52, but she is in such a happy bubble. She's Good. in no pain. She, oh, we, I go and visit her nearly every day and I put on music and we sing together and her face lights up. Good. It's the people caring for the person towards the end that is really, really important, that they, they're the friends, family, everyone has to help them, you know. Okay.